Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher, the 1300 ladder. I really do appreciate all of the support. It's been a hot minute since I've done a market watch, and now that YCS Richmond has come and gone, the finals were an Unchained mirror match, so Unchained has yet another YCS win under its belt. I think this makes, what, two? Possibly three now? I'm not too sure, but I know at the very least it is definitely two. But I wanted to talk about the prices, see where things kind of are at this point in time, um, especially too that within like literally like what now two weeks, we get Valiant Smashers, which is going to have the Centurion archetype, which goes good with the Horus Monsters, which means the Horus cards are going to go up in price. And then we're going to be seeing level 12 Crimson Dragon and King Calamities going all over the place because that deck doesn't make King Calamity look just like a YouTube combo. It's actually pretty consistent. So without any further ado, I want to start off here looking at Age of Expensive. So, of course, SP Low Knight Quarter Centuries are 465. Uh, regular Little Knights are 150. So, they were, I think, like they peaked out at like 115. They're at 100s now. Uh, the other Quarter Centuries are kind of whatever. Boxes for Age of Overlord are 72s. Um, one in Secret Simple Spoils are $60 a piece. Hot diggity damn, Batman. This, oh my god, I pulled like what, two of these Quarter Centuries? They're, they're up from the 24s they're at. They're at 50s now. Um, Diabell Star Dark Witches or Black Witch, whatever is uh, 25. The TG stuff is actually pretty cheap. It's actually kind of funny because the TG stuff is just really garbage, to be honest. Um, Sky Crises or 17s. This actually isn't terrible. I would definitely pick one up so you have it. Uh, King Sark is 450, eh, about five bucks. The Arius Labyrinth Butler is nine. Uh, th basically, two fifty, eh, three dollars on the Dumonitev. Um, you're looking at two dollars on the fine birds dragon, a dollar forty seven on banshees. That's actually a really good pickup. Uh, and from there, it just kind of drops down to twenty cents. All that fun stuff. It's not super expensive. Five dollars on the Dumonitef Ultra from the sneak peek. That's actually rather interesting. But yeah, no, I mean outside of just a couple of things in this set, you're still kind of looking at the same. I feel like that little knights aren't going to get much higher than a hundred bucks just because people aren't going to want to pay for that. Uh, moving on, I want to talk about 25th anniversary stuff in general. Uh, if you've been keeping up with the channel, then you know I bought one of each of the 25th anniversary boxes for really good value. Um, this specifically is, of course, the anniversary collection. We'll be talking about the 25th anniversary stuff in general uh, in a second. In fact, I think it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. So 25th anniversary Dueling Tin Heroes cases are 125s. Metal Raiders are up to 68. I think I got mine for like 55. Uh, Spell Ruler is up to 60. These things are starting to move. Invasion of Chaos, 55. I got mine at 35. Pharaoh's Servant up to 52. I got mine for 35. Legend of Blue Eyes is up to 76. Or no, I'm sorry. These things dropped to $76 because I got mine for like 85. Oh, yeah. These things tanked. Oh, so they kind of peaked at like around the 85 range. And now they've just sort of dipped off for whatever reason, which is really strange. Uh, someone got two of these on the 5th for 85 and now they're going for 75 same day so for whatever reason those things dip down by ten dollars i don't know why um but pharaoh servant is up from 35 to 53 so that's pretty good and of course you have all the quarter century secret rares from the rarity collection itself um the 25th anniversary edition box with the god cards is 28 those are going to be good sealed down the road i don't know why legend of blue eyes went down and everything else is up and up but i mean <laughs> It doesn't really matter because these things are long holds for the long haul. 25th anniversary boxes here are 86.58. That's insane to me, actually. Um, back on over here to rarity collection in general. Evenly matched quarter centuries 57. Barons 44s. There's a lot of money in this set, to be honest. But this isn't something that you buy sealed. I feel like that this is something that you just buy for the singles and kind of move on with your day. Even Pot of Prosperity PCRs or 12s. Dimension Shifter Quarter Century or 12s. Desires Quarter Century 11s. Evenly PCRs or 12s. Um, yeah, like Triple Tactics Town PCRs or 10s. Pot of Prosperity PCRs, 10s. Like these prices are all over the place. Droplet PCRs are almost $10. They got droplets PCRs listed twice, but either way, they're $10. Warlord Savage is 11 Barons are nines for the Platinums. PCRs are 11 Jesus. See, this is what people meant by, like, the prices were just going to flood the market and just liquidate a lot of stuff. Yeah, like, you're not seeing anything lower than, like, $5 in this set. 
it uh, is definitely not a set I would invest in. You buy your singles and you move on. I just wanted to show this off. Um, keep in mind that Valiant Smashers does have other stuff in it besides the Centurions. Like, we have the Memento archetype and stuff, but the problem is the Memento archetype kind of sucks from what I understand. So the main thing that we're going to be going for out of Valiant Smashers is uh, the Centurions. Keep in mind that Valiant Smashers is a side set. It is not a core set. That means that because it's a side set, things can be short printed. So just like Amazing Defenders... Things can be short printed, so keep that in mind if you're going to be diving headfirst into the set. Honestly, if you want my opinion, you buy a core of Centurion stuff. You make sure you have three of each of the Horus cards, and you move on with your day. You, other than that, you just let this set just drop in value. I want to look at Amazing Defenders, aka Amazing Dildos. Uh, 56 for sealed products, actually not bad. You're looking at basically $90 on the Collector's Rare Hydrants. If you're spending money on these, I don't know why the fuck you are. <laughs> uh, that's just a waste. Pretty memory CRs are 40s. Uh, regular Purely's are basically $61. Turbulence CRs are 42s. Regular Hydrances are 41s. These were 50s. Um, I think people kind of lost a bit of money on uh, Rescue Ace stuff, to be honest, because it didn't win this YCS. CR Gizmex or 17s, 15s on regular Purely's, 14 on my friend, because everybody needs a friend. Uh, what's going on back here? Uh, rescues are $1.80. Jesus, that's terrible. Rescues impulses are quarters. Get out of here. Uh, High Ray the Sword Makonko is 20 cents. Wow, okay. Yeah, and then it just sort of drops off after that. That's cute. Uh, let's see. I want to pull up Unchained stuff too, because, I mean, it just won the YCS. Um, outside of like starlights and quarter centuries, like, let's just look at the normal prices. Like, obviously this stuff's going to be expensive. Uh, soul of rage is $10. Yama is seven. Abomination is basically $2. Aru is two. Soul of anguish is two. Soul of rage six. Yeah. The, the stuff for unchained is actually kind of cheap. I think really, ugh, excuse me. I think really the money comes from the triple tactics thrusts. Um, Oh, whoops, that's talents. Just kidding. Triple tactic. Well, if I could spell triple, triple tactics thrust. Here we go. So, wow, how the mighty have fallen. These things are $86. These things were over 100 Wow. These things have dipped off more than my love life. Look at this, 102 and they are just slowly dropping. I, I don't know if it's because people are expecting a reprint of this, because I don't think it's going to be reprinted anytime soon. We're not in the reprint window anymore. So, like, Nani? Um, Mirror Jades are 200. That's that's it? These things used to be 400. 68 on Hyper Noble Boxes. That's a terrible purchase. Raid Saucer 20s. I mean, this makes sense, because we did see Cash Tira do a little bit at the YCS. Um, like, I read a feature match where... Cash Tira beat a tier player because they went to game three. The cash player went first, established a flare metal, and he had spooky dog one in his hand. So it's like, yeah, I'm not losing in time. Tier element cash tiers were 20s. They're down to 13s. I think that's just because people are getting off the tier element bandwagon. It's not performing as well as people hoped. The Horus tier element build did finish top eight. I tried that build. I hated it. It's garbage. I don't know how Horus tier is doing so well because in my hands, it's terrible. Maybe it's just me. Um... Generator Boss of Shadows is only $0.44. Cent. You know, if you want a good pickup for a deck that's honestly kind of solid, go for Generator Boss of Shadows. Like, pick up Generator stuff in general. Like, I don't think that stuff is actually very expensive. Uh, I don't even know if I even typed it in right. You know, this stuff is not expensive at all. $3 for the boss stage, and then it drops off from there. Yeah, if you want a solid deck, pick up Generators. Also, I wanted to point this out because this card needs a reprint so bad, and I actually picked it up when it was 45 and now it's 65 Uh Galaxy's Photon Lord. Light play is 65 $5 shipping, so you're looking at 70 And then, yeah, you're on up to $70 for this card. This is really good because of rank 8s. You're going to probably want this if you plan on playing Centurions, and this is only in Relentless Revenge. So... If you have a copy, uh, you better hold on to it, Sugar Boo Bear, or you know you better trade for some because this card is mad good. It's basically a monster negate, so it keeps you insulated from Nibiru, but it doesn't have a reprint. And like I said, these things used to be forty five dollars. What's going on in Relentless Revenge? Actually, what's what's going on back here? Gamma seals are eleven. Wow, that's hilarious. Over two hundred dollars for seal product. No, you can kiss my ass proper. Gossip Shadow seven fifties. Oh, this was the Time Lord set. So yeah, Michions are fives. This thing cuts the opponent's life points in half. Golden Castles are threes. Uh, the Flying Elephant, which sucks ass, is four. 
Uh, Prep of Rights is three. Solemns are threes. That's just because of old format. Aqua Dolphins, threes. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Reincarnations, twos. Union Hanger, two. Damn, like, everything in here is, like, two dollars. Why? Like, people need their max rarity, like, Union Hangers? Hello? Bottomless Trap Hole, a dollar. I mean, sure. Cyber Dragon, no. Just get the QCRs. They look better. Monster Born for two. No, we're, we're not wasting money on that. Uh, why is stuff back here worth so much? Topologic Gumblar is even a dollar. Wow. Okay. Well, like, everything in here is at the very least a dollar. I mean, it's not a good set. The only thing in it is the Photon Lord. But, like, yeah, everything is, like, starting to go up. Wow. I wonder, It makes me wonder what's going on with um the Chaos Revenge that had the Chaos Armageddon. Because there's no money in this set other than the Photon Lord, but... I don't know. I could be wrong. Guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below about the market. Is there anything that you're looking at picking up? Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.